<clears throat> so I will be the first to completely admit, when uh, Super Mario Maker, when I guess it was just Mario Maker originally, uh, was first announced at, I guess, two whole E3s ago, believe it or not, uh, I really didn't care that much. Um, I certainly wasn't like, oh, this is stupid, because I, I remember thinking, like, oh, this is, this is kind of a neat idea. I'm sure this will be, like, a cool little thing for, like, you know, uh, you know the people who want to be game developers and create platformers and stuff like that. But I didn't really think a whole lot of it. And then, uh, as things got closer and closer and closer to uh, the game finally coming out, mostly thanks to my friends over at Game Explain, I finally was like, okay, I think I'm getting more and more interested in this. And then, by the time that it was released, I, I like, had this, like, addictive itch of, like, I need to get it. Because I, I, start, <laughs> I started having all these creative ideas, uh, you know, for, for, for levels that I wanted to make. Rather, there was particularly one that I really wanted to do. And, uh, and so I, I decided, okay, you know what, I, I, I can't help myself. I caved and I <laughs> picked up a copy and, and, you know, so basically for the last week and a half, I've been building stages and coming up with stuff and doing all these different things. And, uh, I've really enjoyed it so far. I guess, I guess quick little like mini review section of it real quick is, um, uh, it, it's incredibly user friendly. It's, uh, it's, it's really set up in a, in a lovely way. That's just like, you know, it completely sets you up easily to do everything. Um, at first, and uh, maybe to some extent still, I kind of don't like the fact that you don't have access to everything immediately. Uh, I am glad that they changed it so that you get it, like, you know, once every, you know, X amount of time or whatever. I, I forget exactly how it works. Um, but at the same time, I, I do understand why they decided to do that, so I can't really fault it too badly for it. And, and in the end, it also kind of did end up serving the same purpose of why they did that in the first place, which to me seemed like so they could slowly teach people to you know utilize every single one of the different tools uh to the fullest extent of their ability and everything and uh so i totally get that and i think that that was perfectly valid for them to go that route and uh yeah but so far i've been really enjoying it i've, I've been doing a lot of writing uh in the last uh last week or so uh but kind of in between i've been working on levels and making all this stuff and just having a goddamn good time, uh, you know, making all these. And um, I've had some good response to a few of them. There's a few that uh, folks haven't played so far. I've uploaded about 10 stages and I basically decided I'm gonna use uh, this, this last curb log, this last normal curb log of, um, of, uh, of, of September of this year <laughs> to talk about all these levels that I came up with, you know, some little insight about them and, you know, see, you know, any interest, et cetera, because I'd love for people to try them out and tell me what they think. Uh, so the first one that I completed, that uh, I, this, this was with, I think, the most basic stuff that I was given to work with, uh, I created Blockman's Maze. Uh, so this is a uh, 100 game seconds uh, on the clock level where uh, you only have that much time to get through a maze and you get a little amiibo costume where you turn into a question mark block. And there are no enemies, you just have to navig uh, navigate through the maze as quickly as possible and get to the end. And, um, you know, there's a, there's a couple little bits of, of room for error, but, uh, you know, it'll, it'll screw you up if you, uh, you know, mess up too many times. But uh, it's a simple one. It's kind of cool. I've gotten a lot of comments on this one so far. I think it's been the most played that I've done since it was probably since it was the first one that I uploaded. But uh, it was cool. I, was, I just wanted to try making something, you know, very basic and, and simple with just like the, the most bare bones things that they start you off with. Because if you haven't played it, they, they start off with uh, only giving you the Super Mario Brothers and New Super Mario Brothers themes of the original NES and then the most recent one on, on Wii U. <laughs> so, um, and then you get like, you know, a bunch of stuff to just make stages out of like, like very basic kind of things and not all the enemies, not all the platforms or pipes or anything just yet. Um, but yeah, so that was, that was a fun little experiment. The next one uh, is a stage called the Mysterious Midas Mont and I designed it to look like a giant uh, golden pirate ship more or less that uh, is covered in all these gold coins as well as uh, yellow platforms that kind of blend in with the coins. And basically, it is a uh, peace switch puzzle type of stage where you have where, where Mario uh, climbs aboard this mysterious ship that only appears, you know, once once every every once in a while, once once in a while, once once uh, <laughs> that you have to get through, and uh, you know it's a test of greed. Like you know, how many coins can you collect? And and uh, there's a little bit. Of, I think I think you have like 200 game seconds to to get through it. But uh, yeah, another another relatively simple one, but kind of a cool one in terms of like I. I put some thought into like its design, tried to make it seem like a real pirate ship and et cetera. So that, that's it's another kind of simple one. A lot of people really like this one too. Left a lot of comments so far, so try that one out. 
the next one uh, is Happy Landings. This is my uh, so far my only one that I've done in the uh, Super Mario Brothers three style. Uh, this is one that I really had a lot of fun. Uh, not a whole lot of people have played it so far, but I'm, I'm actually very proud of how this one turned out. Uh, basically, the way I kind of pictured it is like Mario is on top of some massive cliff or whatever, and he uh, you know probably just got done fighting against some some powerful bad guys from the Koopa Army or whatever, and uh, he's got to get back down to, uh, to to safe ground below. And there's a there's a small fleet of battleships that are going to try and head him off and and, and kill him and everything. So he's got to navigate past them and, and jump through them and everything and uh so it's it's a scrolling uh airship stage and uh you know the, so the the mysterious midas mont previously was also an airship but uh, i didn't have that one scrolling this one is and uh you have to get through it as as quickly as possible i think you have like a little over a minute to get through the entire stage and uh moves relatively fast and it's got a lot of crazy stuff around um left plenty of room to uh you know, to to get through it without screwing up, and uh, then there's a few power ups kind of scattered around, and uh, you know, but a lot a lot of little fun surprises and little extra tweaks and things that I thought was uh, was fun to kind of just toss in there. And uh, if you're really good, uh, there's actually a um, a little alcove above above, above the the sky in uh, a little cloud shaped star thing that I made with some star men in it. So if you're you know, very diligent and you can get up there, then uh, it it makes getting to the end goal a little easier, but not a, a guaranteed. Uh, you know, safe flight down. So um, this is a challenging one, kind of cool. Uh, this is one I believe that Ben Diskin was able to finally finish because uh, Ben Diskin and his uh, his girlfriend Heather were over, and I tested them on a bunch of the levels. Um, I believe Ben might have finished this one after much trial and error. So there's that. Uh, next one is my probably my most artistic level, uh, Peach's Fearsome Flower Farm. Uh, this is a uh, an NES level, uh, as I wanted to make use of the uh, amiibo costumes and everything. So uh, that was a lot of fun. It's um, it's 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 very artsy in terms of like I drew a lot of uh, and, and designed a lot of interesting things around it. And I made it kind of look as, as much like a uh, you know a big like like flower nursery as much as possible. I, I tried to make use of as many of the kind of decorative uh, side of the items as possible and made use of a lot of the munchers and piranha plants and uh, fire fire piranha plants and all that. And uh, yeah, those that I, there's also a lot of other like funny secrets kind of hidden around. If you if you see the map uh, on the uploads that I have on my profile, uh, you can you can see it. Um, you know, I've I've drawn a bunch of uh, funny things. Some some that you can see like in plain sight. There's there's a, a big peach logo like in the Nintendo style, uh, and a big um, you know uh, uh, peach sprite from the NES game. Uh, as well as a little fire flower, and I have some quotes hidden in there, uh, some that, that you might recognize, and other such things. But it's uh, it's pretty cool. This one is also relatively challenging; has um, requires a lot of a lot of patience. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it's this this is a cool one. This was uh, this is one that I, I just made like within the span of a day. Um, but uh, yeah, I tried that one out if you get the chance. And this next one, uh, this one was uh, kind of not not so much in request to, but more just to appease uh, Liz. Uh, as she is a big fan of Chain Chomps, this is Baku Baku Barrage. Uh, Baku Baku is in Japanese onomatopoeia for like a munching, you know, chewing sound effect. Um, so Mario is in the wrong side of town. He, I, I tried to make this stage. This is a new Super Mario Brothers style uh, stage, the only one that I've made of that type so far. <laughs> and um, Mario's in this kind of suburban type area. I tried to make it look like uh, like the backyard of like a neighborhood or something with a bunch of like, you know, warning, keep away from dog type of uh, type of setups. And uh, yeah, I tried to make use as much as possible of uh, as many different ways of the chain chomp enemies. You know, so there's flying chain chomps and multi-headed chain chomps and chain chomps on you know on and off of their uh, <laughs> their their um, you know little stakes that that hold them in place or whatever. A lot of different things with that. Uh, relatively challenging. I think it's actually a little a little easier than I pictured. Once you know what you're doing, you can get through it pretty quickly. But uh, it's it's a cool one. And uh, there's there's also a few little minor secrets kind of hidden around. Uh, I made use of the more artsy uh, stuff with it in terms of like I, I drew like a giant chain chomp sprite uh, to go along with it. And um, if you can climb your way up there, you might find a few things that will help uh, make the final stretch to the um, the goalpost a little easier. So you can try that out. Uh, this is a cool one. So I uh, hope you enjoy that one. And the final one, this is the level that basically made me want to get the game in the first place. This is the pit of 50 trials. Uh, I had to be very patient with this one because not only did I have to wait <coughs> to unlock all the stuff necessary to make it in the first place, but I basically spent a week uh, in between working all the other on, on all the other levels that I just talked about. Um, I was testing this one and tweaking the design and making it as possible as possible, but also as close to impossible as possible. 
uh, basically it's inspired by the pit of a thousand trials uh, from, or maybe a hundred trials, I forget exactly, but from the uh, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door game on uh, Nintendo GameCube. Uh, basically, I thought that was a really cool idea where you're kind of descending down this pit and each each floor has a different challenge that you have to overcome and everything. So I kind of took that theme and uh, I basically made this whole stage that's divided up into two sections. Um, one that's like a cave and one that's like um, a castle. And you go back and forth, uh, you know, between the two uh, through pipes and everything. And so each... Uh, each area that you you know there, there's little not really checkpoints because you you know if you die you have to start back at the beginning, uh, but but, it, but each area is kind of um, reminiscent of a of a different sort of theme more or less. Um, I uh, I kind of designed them and and had a, a particular like quality that one must have to get through it. So like there's the zone of tradition, the zone of of intuition, the zone of knowledge, the zone of courage, patience, agility, strength, kindness, peace, wit, and enlightenment. The zone of enlightenment is the bottom uh, two floors. And uh, so, so basically on, on each of those zones, there's, you know, anywhere from like, you know, four to five trials or so. Um, and each one <laughs> is a different obstacle that you have to carefully navigate your way through. And, uh, you know, at any moment you, you might screw up and you'd have to start all the way back at the beginning. Now, this version that I'm talking about here uh, is actually adapted from the original one I was designing that was, that was super, super hard. So this is labeled uh, when you play it on my profile as the uh, Pit of 50 Trials Beginner Edition. Uh, so, you know, this, there's, <laughs> there's a few mushrooms kind of scattered about. You know, you, you have uh, basically one screw up uh, more or less every, like, you know, two zones or otherwise. Um, but... Uh, the thing is that in, in certain areas, you need to be able to navigate through uh, as small Mario. Uh, so, you know, the, wor the mushrooms can work to your advantage, and sometimes you have to just kind of sacrifice them just so you can move on the w all, you know, all the way through and everything. It's, uh, it's super tricky, but it is definitely possible. And I will say, I, you know, because obviously you, you do have to be able to beat it, uh, you know, on your own all the way through uh, as a regular player. <laughs> um, I actually beat this entire stage twice. Uh, because the first time that I uploaded it, and I, after, I, after I completed it, um, there was some sort of network error, so I had to do it again. And I spent probably about two solid hours uh, in burning heat with my shirt off, so angry out of my goddamn mind, uh, to eventually beat the stage. And I did that yesterday, finally, after ages and ages of struggling with it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so it's out there, and you can check that out. And, uh, of course, I did also want to release the original version of it, so... Uh, there's also, of course, the expert mode of the Pit of 50 Trials, uh, where are, there, there are no uh, mushrooms that you can get to, uh, to help you out. Now, that said, uh, there are some secrets hidden in this one that are not in the other one. And uh, I didn't, you know, pull a dick move and I was just like, oh, you know, I'll, I'll just, um, you know, use these to, uh, you know, to complete the level, you know, unfairly or whatever. It was mainly for time purposes to just, you know, get it up as soon as I could. Uh, along with this video, but I have tested each of the individual rooms. You can do it. It is perfectly possible to get through all of them as small Mario all the way through. Uh, but if you happen to find any, any of my little secrets that I set up uh, that could help me with, um, you know, getting through it a little easier, then uh, then good on you. Then you're uh, you you were you were quite a smart individual if you managed to do that. Um, but yeah. So, uh, that's that's all of them. So I th there's also a few other courses. Um, there's there's um, uh, Star Ocean, not the RPG, uh, a level that I made an underwater stage uh, that's mixed in there. Uh, the Tile by Fire, uh, which is a castle stage in the original Mario Brothers uh, type of mode. And uh, J Jenny's Two-Toned Mansion, which is uh, kind of just a joke, and if you get it, then you complete it. It's a haunted house level. Um, but yeah, most of them were just kind of like test stages to like try out different mechanics and things. But I uploaded a bunch of them as well, <laughs> in case you wanted to try them out, so... Go check them out. I'll have all of the um, the ID numbers, uh, you know, jotted down in the. Uh, you know, obviously, you can see them in this video, but I also have them in the description if you want to try them out. So, uh, hope you enjoy them. Uh, if anybody is able to uh, record themselves uh, playing these stages, if they have any sort of capture equipment, uh, I'd love to see some playthroughs uh, of these stages. And in fact, they even just put out on Twitter the other day the first person who can uh, complete, and maybe you know, by some miracle, maybe somebody will even done it by that point. But if anybody can clear through. Um, the uh, the Pit of Fifty Trials, uh, the expert mode version of it, um, then I will uh, I will give you a free drawing. And but it's it's easier if you record it and can actually show proof of it in in some way, shape, or form, um, because uh, I know people can obviously just download it and cheat that way. But uh, you know, hopefully nobody will do that. So yeah, give them a shot. So that's actually going to wrap us up. Uh, this will probably be unless something else comes up that's like you know 
super important or whatever. Uh, this is probably going to end up being actually the last uh, regular cur blog for the month uh, because on Tuesday, uh, first of all, I'm going to be actually out and very, very busy on Monday of Tuesday of next week as the month is wrapping up. Uh, but uh, during that day, I'm actually going to be leaving behind a very special little announcement video about some really, really cool stuff that's going to be happening in October, uh, some of which is involved with the tone behind the scenes stuff I've been putting out and uh, some other even bigger things than that, actually. Uh, so look forward to that. Uh, it, it basically, I'll, I'll just give you a little tease that October is going to be my very first fully themed month. So all of the content I'll be putting out for the most part will be themed to a particular thing. So look forward to that. In the meantime, if you have uh, suggestions for future Curblot topics, uh, you can leave them. Uh, but I will say that in the meantime, uh, I'm probably not going to be doing any of those for a while, probably not until November. So maybe save them. And in the meantime, you can also comment about uh, the Mario Maker levels, if you get to try them out, if you do you have any other suggestions or favorites, did you make some that you want me to try out? Leave some codes, give me some suggestions, I'd love to hear your, your ideas. And you can also leave those messages to me on Tumblr, on Facebook, on Twitter, whatever you feel like. Uh, I'll also link to the Tumblr post where I have all of the individual illustrations that I did for these levels. Check those out, hope you enjoy them, thank you guys so much for listening, and uh, I will catch you very soon with some very, very cool stuff. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all around soon. Uh, bye bye